everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video we're going to be talking about the sophisticated declutter. So if you are completely new to this concept and you don't know what the sophisticated declutter is, I have an intro video linked in the cards above for you so make sure to watch that first and then come right back here because we're going to be talking about weeks one and week two and all of the different tasks that you have to accomplish over these next two weeks. Week one is all about the nightstand. Now this will include a second nightstand. If you have a second nightstand or a spouse that has a nightstand, make sure you get both of them decluttered in week one. Now I think of the nightstand in two separate parts. One is the top and the second is the inside. Starting with the top, it is important to keep the things on top of your nightstand as minimal as possible. Now of course, if you have a lamp or something like that on top of it, you can keep things on there. Just try and limit the number to maybe three or four items that go on top of your nightstand. A great idea for things that you might want to include on top of your nightstand, like I said, a lamp, I have an essential oil diffuser, maybe you have a candle, a framed photo, a small jewelry dish if you tend to take your jewelry off right before you go to bed, something like that, whatever you want, but just try and keep it minimal. It shouldn't be just a flat surface where you put clutter. Make sure you just have the items that you really need there. Now, when we're also talking about the top of your nightstand, think about how your cords and chargers are organized back there. You wanna keep it as minimal as possible, right? We're talking about decluttering, so get rid of chargers that you're not using. You also wanna make sure that there's some sort of cord or cable management for your cords so it looks nice and neat. I keep a phone charger and my Apple Watch charger and that is it. Moving on to the inside of your nightstands, a lot of us have a tendency to use our nightstands kind of like a junk drawer. So as you're decluttering and going through each and every item that's in your nightstand, think about, is this something I really need? next to me, in bed, when I wake up in the morning first thing, those type of things, or am I just storing it here because I don't know where else to store it? One of the reasons so many of us end up with a cluttered nightstand is that we treat it like a junk drawer. So as you're going through your nightstand, you're gonna wanna go through each and every item and decide, am I just keeping this here because I don't know where else to put it, or is it truly something that I need next to me in bed, I use it right before I go to bed, first thing when I wake up, and something that truly needs to be there. Some examples of what you might wanna keep inside your nightstand include different activities that you might do in bed. So if you read in bed, you could have a magazine, a book, iPad, or a Kindle. You can have cosmetics inside of your nightstand. Now, not all cosmetics, just those that apply to what you might use right before you go to bed, like lotion, or if you put chapstick on right before you go to bed. I also keep some lavender oil. I have an essential oil diffuser, and that is the only scent I use before I go to bed. So I'm not gonna keep excess scents that I don't use in my essential oil diffuser that's on my nightstand, those will go elsewhere. So you can keep things like that, really anything you use in bed or items that you use to go to sleep, like an eye mask, earplugs, anything like that. But again, using the mindset of, is this something I use right before I go to bed, actually while I'm sleeping or first thing in the morning before I get out of bed. If it doesn't fit in that category, this is not the right place for it to be. So you can move that to the right spot or declutter it if you know you don't need it. And then with the items that you have left, again, think through, do I really wanna keep this? Is it something I actually use? Not like me who thinks they wanna put lotion on every night before they go to bed, but never actually does it. I need to get rid of that and not keep that in my nightstand because it's not something that I actually use. So don't think about what you want to be or what you wanna do, but it's actually what you use. Week two, we're really getting into things, tackling some clothing and covering our dresser. So you have all of week two to tackle everything you own inside of your dresser. Now you're gonna pull everything out, assess what you own, decide what you wanna keep, and then figure out how to categorize it, and lastly, fold it and put it back away. With clothing, do not get overwhelmed. Do whatever works best for you. So if you wanna start with just your t-shirts and look at all of your t-shirts and say, okay, I have seven white t-shirts, how many do I really need? Which ones are my favorites? And start decluttering in smaller categories. That's a really great strategy to take things in bite-sized chunks and not to overwhelm yourself. 
I actually have a video coming out where I'm gonna give you a tour of my dresser. Now, I probably still need to do some decluttering. I'm gonna do everything along with you guys, but I'm gonna show you what's in each and every drawer. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a file folding tutorial for some basics like yoga pants, jeans, t-shirts, and things like that. So if you're interested in kind of following along with me, make sure to check out that video or I will have it in the cards above if it's already posted. Just like we talked about with our nightstands, we're gonna declutter at the top of our dresser during week two as well. And the same rules will apply. You want to make sure to keep things as minimal as possible, keep things you actually use, or a couple of small decor items. So you can have a picture frame on top of your dresser, that's perfectly fine. I have some perfumes and a little reed diffuser and my TV and that's it. So I only have three things on top of it. So try and keep it to that three or four. A great piece of advice is to put something large behind it. So if you don't have a TV on your dresser like I do, you can put a large picture behind it, a big window, something that makes you and encourages you to keep that surface clean so you can see that pretty window or see that beautiful painting. So if you finish weeks one and weeks two early, this is the only time that we're gonna be covering the bedroom for decluttering. So if you have other things inside your bedroom that aren't your nightstands or your dresser, this is your time to also make sure you're decluttering those. So if you have things under your bed, if you have a basket with a bunch of blankets or things like that, you have between week one and week two to tackle everything in your bedroom. And trust me, you can do it, though your bedroom might be big, hopefully you don't keep a ton of stuff in there. And don't be afraid to just kind of relocate a couple of things for now if they fit better in other rooms and we can tackle it as we continue to move on. Now, if you aren't following me on Instagram this entire week and next week, I'm gonna be giving you lots of tips and tricks bonus content if you finish early, maybe some cleaning ideas if you wanna also clean your bedroom once you're done decluttering it. So follow me over on Instagram, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more and hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time I post another sophisticated declutter video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.